All right, so we are back again, guys. Uh, we are now at the uh, Hoth base mission. And we are going to have to get out of here with... Uh, it's not Tom Selleck. Uh, as I was saying the original in the previous video, this guy looks a lot like the guy that was in the Field of Dreams, uh, the main actor. There's been a lot of, uh, I think it's also in uh, some of these uh, Western films and Waterworld as well. Forgot his name. But oh, you got the picture. He looks a lot like him. He played uh, the character of Jonathan Kent in the Man of Steel films. I forgot his name. But you got the picture here. He, he looks a lot like uh, that guy. That actor. As you notice, if you're playing, watching this game now, I'm not using any audio, any music, because it is completely 100% copyright. It's the original soundtrack from back in the day, so it is impossible for me to play any of the songs. All right. No, no. Yeah, it so sounds a little bit, uh, not cringy, but, <laughs> uh, what's the name for that term? It's a little bit awkward, thank you. It is a little bit awkward not playing the game with the soundtrack, or playing the game without the soundtrack. But it's for a good cause. I don't want to get my channel copyright into oblivion. Oh, shoot. you bastard. Alright. So, this is a trick. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. This is really frustrating playing this game with the. Because it, it doesn't have like a. What you might call it, a an aim, so you cannot aim. You have to wait for this uh, guy to keep shooting people. So you have to be careful. It's a wampa. There you go. Shoot. Took 300 years. Alright, so. As I was saying. Alright. There you go. The audio in this game is. Uh, the soundtrack is completely copyrighted. So, if you're playing the game. Expecting to make it monetizable. Uh, Brian Neely is the creator of the soundtrack, uh, of the director, the, the sound director, the music developer. So you have seen a channel, I think it's called Galaxy Toys, Toys Galaxy. They get, uh, they delve a lot into the classic games or classic uh, media like uh, movies and TV, TV. Mostly they focus more on 
TV shows from back in the day, the musicals, and uh, cartoons, and, and child's children's stuff, and like, cartoons and stuff like that. So, uh, basically, they were talking about this game being a part of a multimedia effort. So it was like, uh, what it is today, like what is uh, not the, the the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Cause they focus a lot on different uh, things. They make a, they made a, the soundtrack for this game. They made uh, novels, comics. So basically, it was hyping it up, uh, hyping up the creation of the potential Star Wars prequels. So that's why they re-release the original uh, film. Only, uh, basically, they, they remastered, quote unquote, remastered. So basically, they added all those additional perks that not many people love. Not love, but basically, they they they, they either don't don't like or they don't care I think I fall in the second they I just don't care about the additions I would have liked it uh, if they released the games uh, not the games the film the original cut the original cut so yeah this was released back in the day as part of that effort to hype up uh, the prequels. So they re-released the Star Wars original trilogy back in the day. And they kind of like, it was I remember it correctly, I was kind of around 12 years old. And they were announcing that they were releasing, re-releasing uh, the, the Star Wars uh, trilogy. But uh, I wanted to see the original cut. I was able to rent the games, uh, the films. But uh, I don't know why I did it. Uh, but <laughs> I did it. I should have. Uh, what do I have? Uh, what should had happened was I should ask my dad if we could go out and, and buy the the original trilogy instead before it was re-released. But uh, uh, again, I was a dumb kid I was in my 12 or 13 year old and I waited until Christmas to get the trilogy and lo and behold they changed it completely and uh, I was kind of excited first but then it kind of sit down on me that oh no this was not what I will remember about this game about this, this film sadly that's the case that's that's the fact that's the reality of what Star Wars became. And don't get me wrong, I really like the the prequels. The sequels were kind of mad because I was expecting they, they borrowed more about... Because they already, actually they, that's what they're doing now. They're, they're borrowing a lot from the lore of uh, the cartoons, the Clone Wars, and also they're following a few uh, films, not films, uh, but characters from some of the, uh, back in the day, the, the comics, like, or the novels. And Admiral Throne is one of them. Uh, I, I never saw the novels, but I saw, I played a few games, not a few games, I played a few uh, um, read read a few novels. I'm sorry, I'm kind of distracted. I kind of fool. <laughs> I got a big feast, uh, big dinner, late lunch, early dinner, oh, late dinner, late late dinner, early dinner, late lunch. That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you. So I kind of half asleep. Anyway, um, ooh, nice. It's raining outside. Finally, it's been it's been a hot minute here in the south since there have been some rain. 
So that's really welcome. Okay. Ah, I cringe every time I try to jump in this game because the character is like uh, you can jump, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of awkward. I'm trying to jump. I remember why I don't like the change because there's some some things like uh, you have to jump around and sometimes you you may screw the jump and you fall and there's the checkpoints are falling in between. You need to activate the generator to open the door. Gotcha. So I had to go here, I guess. And there's some parts that are really awkward when you're trying to get out of here. Alright, uh, let me be careful here. This is a really awful mission because you have to, you will see eventually. Probably the easiest mission in the first, is the first, uh, but everything else is kind of awkward. It's a terrible, terrible way to try to get uh, Alright, so. See why it's so awkward to jump in this game. Yep, I knew that would happen. All right. So the good thing is, is that the characters you shoot down or uh, robots you, you blow up, they stay uh, that position. So the checkpoint also applies to all the things you, you blow up and get rid of. All right, here's the hard part. Pretty soon. Yep, this is the part that's a pain in the butt. This uh, eight at st. It's not an att. It's an ist. So we'll try to get uh, this bad boy, try to tenderize it a little bit. And they, they drain you a lot of health. Not good. No bueno. It's the bad thing about not being able to have proper jump features in this game is that no boy no. All right, so let's see if we can take this bad boy, get a few shots. Come on, 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 come Whatever. We're out of there. Let's get out of here. Skadoosh. What's that? Is that a... Uh... What is this? 
Oh shit. Come on. Come on, Wampa. Stay down. All right. Uh, should I brave this one? Let me see. <laughs> we did it. Whew. I'm telling you, this jump in this game is so awkward. Okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Let's see if they kept my. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, the game is kind of awkward without music, but uh, that that's being awkward in the music or getting a copyright strike. I take the awkwardness anyway. Ah! Be careful here. Head to the cockpit so we can get out of here. Should I see the cockpit? Yep. And we cleared it out. Finally. That was a stroke of luck. That was sheer dumb luck. We did it. Alright. So we're going to take a break here. Uh, and I will, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one. Stay awesome. And keep gaming. Ciao. May the force be with you.